Hey everybody. Uh, my background enhance. Let's do the enhance. Let's do the. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. What's up, Charles? Hey everybody. Okay, we all right. Okay, so you gotta say it when you <laughs> when you go loud. What's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm Dr. Sam's America's number one person development expert. Come on, I'm just announcing uh we going live um uh, at eight o'clock with Blue Table Talk for Men. It's gonna be at bluetabletalkformen.com. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dr. Walter Sims, America's number one person development expert. I guess okay, I can play with uh uh, my text. <laughs> I'm the host of Blue Table Talk, and our guest tonight is William Fanin. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He's Samoan, and he's going to be on tonight as our host tonight. I hope everybody's doing all right. Yeah, yeah, I can make that a little bit bigger. This is my first time doing this background. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Mary. What's up, Daisy? Hope everybody's doing all right. What's up, Vanity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where did the Blue Table Talk come from? Well, uh, you remember the incident. And I did a TikTok, what, three weeks ago. And I said, Will, Chris Rock, since you have guys have the microphone now, uh, you can go ahead and let's have a conversation. And so one of my clients was like, well, Dr. Sims, you do the Blue Table. I'm like, well, okay. And so go to bluetabletalkformen.com. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on that bell notification. But we're on every Wednesday evening uh, at 8 o'clock p.m. Let me see if I make me a little bit bigger. Okay, come over here. There we go. All right, well, I can play with this later. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I love TikTok. I love TikTok. Oh, my goodness. Um, Y'all come on in. I hope everybody's had a great day. Hope everybody's doing all right. What's up, Rory? Is Rory in here? Is that Rory? Y'all come on in. I appreciate everybody being here, but go to bluetabletalkformen.com. Click on, uh, click subscribe. Subscribe for us because we got almost 50 followers now, 50 subscribers now. Uh, we had our first show last week. It was so good. We had Joaquin Loper. Uh, that Loper lady's husband, Stacy's husband. It was really good last week. We talked about he forgave his wife. She um, had cheated on him a couple of years into the marriage, and they they worked through that. And they've been going fourteen years strong now. She's about to celebrate her forty forty fifth birthday on April the twenty second. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. What's up, King Boston? What's up, everybody? Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, we're getting ready, uh, on YouTube, getting ready for Blue Table Talk for Men. Uh, we're going to have a great conversation. Uh, what's up, Cookie? What's up, LaShawn? Hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Um, well, where did the Blue Table Talk come from, Dr. Sims? I did another TikTok. I stitched this or duetted with a young lady. Uh, she had just stitched a lot of men's conversations together and they said they didn't have anybody to talk to and i pledged at that moment if there's any man want to reach out to me you have a safe space with me and so blue table talk for men is a safe space for men to come together and and let's talk about it let's talk about the things that bother us let's talk about our fears let's talk about our anxieties let's talk about our challenges, our struggles. Let's talk about our heartaches. Let's talk about our heartbreaks. Uh, women, they have outlets. They have forums for them. And and no shade, uh, but men, we need an outlet as well. Men are three times as likely to commit suicide than women are. And that says something. And so men need an outlet 
We need to have a safe place, no judgment. You feel the way you feel. One thing I learned about being a life coach, good evening, everybody. One thing I've learned about a life, being a life coach and uh, working with as many people as I've worked with, having as many conversations as I've had, if you feel a certain way, you feel that way. And nobody can argue with you about the way you feel. Uh, there's a young man on TikTok now saying, you know, women feel, uh, women say men are disposable. He feel, he's feeling that he's speaking from his heart. He's speaking from his gut. He's saying that with his chest. You know, somebody has hurt him. Somebody has done a number on that young man. Okay. And so Blue Table Talk for Men is a safe space for men where we can come together and talk about our fears, our struggles, our challenges, our anxiety, the things that bother us. You know, we need to come together at the table of brotherhood and let's sit down and have a conversation. You know, what's up, Wesley? Good evening, everybody. If I haven't if I haven't spoken to you, as I tell my congregation, charge it to my head and not my heart. Well, who am I? I am Dr. Walter Sims, America's number one person development expert. I'm a pastor. I'm a life coach. I'm an author. I'm a talk show host and host of Blue Table Talk for Men. And we're going to air in about an hour uh, and go to bluetabletalkformen.com. And that'll take you to the YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. Okay, I'm so excited. Well, how y'all doing? Y'all talk to me. Where you, where you, where you, where you watching me from? I'm in Georgia. I'm in Southeast Georgia. Where are you um, watching me from? Where are you located? What's up, Robert? Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's doing all right. What's up, Two Ten Stepper? What's up, you move? <laughs> Where's everybody TikToking from? Yes, I am. I am a Christian pastor. I, uh, my, I, my denomination. I'm a Baptist pastor. But we're kind of Baptist coastal, if you will. Um, and I've been pastoring for 30 years. Uh, my dad was a pastor. And so I've been in this thing a long time. I have a bachelor's of science in electrical engineering. I have a master's of ministry. I have a doctorate of theology. I have a coaching certification and uh, a master's from the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> hey, my home in Illinois is me. Yeah, yeah, you can please. I, I don't mind. Come on. Come on. We'll be on YouTube. It'll be broadcasting on my YouTube, on the YouTube channel, Blue Table Talk for Men. Uh, everybody can listen in, but it's a safe space for men to come together and talk. You, Yes, please. Please, you move. Uh, yes, please share this with your followers, bluetabletalkformen.com, and it'll take you to the YouTube channel. And yes, yes, please. And and we're gonna have men talking. Uh yeah, it's just for men. It's just for men. And uh I have guests lined up. Uh uh your move, uh Miss Move. I got guests lined up through June. And uh just the men chomping at the bit uh to give their testimony, to share their challenges, to share their struggles. Uh my guest my guest next week has fallen in love for the very first time. Has been married, uh, but he says that Doctor Sims, I'm finally in love. And tonight, uh, William Fanine, he's uh found him on TikTok, met him on TikTok. He gave a story, story time, several years ago. Him and this friend had an arrangement. Somebody caught feelings. I don't want to steal his thunder, so he'll be on tonight. And he just talked through that because he said, "I I let it be known." I was not ready for a relationship. He let it be known I wasn't ready for a relationship. So uh, the person he was involved with somehow caught feelings. And so um, uh, <laughs> he kind of brought up, he was interested in this uh, other young lady. They were just talking, thinking he didn't think anything of it. Man, uh, she wasn't feeling that. And so he kind of talks through that. And uh, now he's happily married. And he's just going to talk through that journey and all of the ups and downs of that journey. So I am very excited about Blue Table Talk uh, for men tonight. And again, my guest is William Fanine. 
He's going to be on tonight. Really excited about having that young man on tonight. It's going to be a great conversation. Uh, so y'all tune in tonight at 8 o'clock in less than an hour. Uh, we're going to be live on YouTube. And I don't have a I don't have a, a, a um, Facebook page yet or Twitter. And, and, and the young man was with me last week. He said, Dr. Sam, kind of limit the access to it. You know, limit the access to it. So it'll be on my personal Twitter profile. It's going to be on my life coaching page and I may change it to my daily talk show page. I just might do that. And um it's gonna be on the uh, YouTube channel Blue Table Talk for me and I am really excited about it. What's up Herbert? What's up Mistress G A? What's up Romo? Uh, yes I'm a Christian pastor. I'm a spiritual life coach, relationship coach, uh reinvention coach. Um just wherever you are in life, if you feeling stuck I can help you. And one of the things we're offering to the men, hey, Maria, hey, Carrie, one thing we're offering to the men that tune in, everybody that tunes in, you're gonna, your name is going to go on a raffle. So once a week, we'll be awarding one of our listeners with a power hour with Dr. Sims. And that's a, it's going to be a safe space for them. And um, just have an hour with me where we can sit down and kind of map out where you are and where you see where you want to be. And that's what a life coach is. I want you I want you to dream big. And I want to help you dream big. Okay? I want to help you dream big. So we're excited tonight about Blue Table Talk for Men at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are so excited. Woohoo! <laughs> we are so excited. We are so incredibly excited about Blue Table Talk. This is episode two tonight. Episode one last night or last week was with uh, Joaquin Loper. What's up, hero? Joaquin Loper. And uh, he's the husband of Stacy Loper, that Loper lady. They are so funny. They were on my daily talk show yesterday. So we are really excited about tonight. William Fanine. Our guest tonight is William Fanine. I am so excited about having him uh on the on the show tonight. So go to blue table talk for men dot com. Blue table talk for men dot com and it would take you to the YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you know when we go live. But every Wednesday night at eight o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time, we will be uh live uh, on the blue table talk for men. I'm really excited about it. And I'm liking this format too. My buddy, shout out to uh, Coach Zeke Bolden, shared with me how to do this outline in this format. So what I got to work on, I got to bring my text up a little bit. I can widen my picture a little bit and bring my host and my guest name up a little bit. I have a, another one for next week. <laughs> but Blue Table Talk for Men, we're really, really excited about... Uh, this is something new. Blue Table Talk for Men, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. BlueTableTalkForMen.com. Go there, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you'll know when I go live. What's up, Riri? What's up, Miss Riri? <laughs> Miss Riri, good to see you, Miss Riri. And we are excited about. Blue Table Talk for Men. And again, the guest is going to be William Fanine. I hope I'm not mispronouncing his name. He's Samoan, I believe. And we'll talk about that tonight. And um, so at 8 o'clock, in about 55 minutes, we're going to go live on our YouTube channel, BlueTableTalkForMen.com, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're going to go live. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up, Bayana? Hey, what's up, by en let's see, by enemy, by any means necessary. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Nothing. I'm just coming on to announce um, Blue Table Talk for Men and the origin. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, my my client that just came in the room, uh, she, uh, I did a TikTok about three weeks ago after the incident. And I said, Will, Chris, since you guys have an audience now, you do a blue table like Jada has red table. You do a blue table. And so Renita, Coach Renita, Pastor Renita said, well, Dr. Sam, you do it. I'm like, well, OK, I guess I can. And so Blue Table Talk for Men is a safe place for men, a place where we can talk about our challenges, our struggles, our fears, 
our heartaches, our ups and downs. Tonight, William is going to talk about his relationship journey. He entered into, and I, again, I don't want to steal his thunder. He entered into a friends with benefits relationship. And it, it didn't really go well because somebody caught feelings. And when he was bringing to the young lady, he wanted to get with an old person he was in relationship with. She, whoo, that didn't sit right with her. And so he's going to talk about that journey. He's happily married now. And he's just going to talk about that whole journey from, uh, he admits, I wasn't even relationship material. And we're going to unpack that tonight uh, because many of us, in and out of relationships. We don't get any therapy. We don't get any counseling. We don't get any coaching. And we just go from relationship to relationship to relationship. And we are still broken from a lot of trauma that we've been doing. And tomorrow on my daily show, uh, I'm going to have Dr. Allie. Yes, women can listen in. I'm going to have Dr. Allie on tomorrow. And you can follow Dr. Allie here on TikTok. Dr. Allie is going to talk about trauma. And so I'm really excited about my daily show tomorrow. But tonight we're talking, uh, we're at the Blue Table Talk for Men dot com. Go there, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so you know when I go live. It's going to be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. And yes, women, please listen in. Because again, this is a safe place for men where men gather. And we, you can kind of be a fly on the wall. And this, this is how we talk in the barbershop. You know, we, we, we talk, we chop it up, you know? So, you know, we, you know, we crack jokes, we, you know, we soften the mood, you know, and we kind of, we go deep, we go in. Last week, Joaquin, he got really emotional because he was reliving and rehashing just the whole forgiveness path uh, he was on with his wife. And, um, he said it was a challenge. It was really a challenge. Hey, DD Travels, what's up, Miss DD Travels? He said it was a real challenge, and and it just it choked him up for a moment. He got he got emotional for a moment, and that uh, episode is on the YouTube channel. It was really good, and so I got a guest tonight. Keep B Dip, Keep B Dixon next week. I got a uh, I got guest uh, Rory the Storm is gonna be on uh, first Wednesday in May. I have guest. Um, through June, and there are men lined up. They said, Dr. Sam, yes, Dr. Sam, yes, Dr. Sam, yes, I'll be on the show. I have a network of men that want to share their heart, want to share their travels, wants to share their journey, wants to share their testimony. You know, I'm, I'm the host. I have my testimony. I have my journey, but it's not about me. It's about the men, and I just wanted to, hey, I raised my hand. I want to be a committee of one. I want to help. You know, men claim they don't have anybody to talk to. They don't have anybody they can reach out to. And and, and a young lady did a, a TikTok. She stitched a lot of men's testimony together. And I said, hey, men, if you need somebody, here am I. Use me. I, I give myself to you. If you want somebody to talk to, just reach out to me. I'm Googleicious now. You just Google my name. All of my information will pop up because men are three times as likely to commit suicide than women are. And it's no telling how many men think about it. I did some suicide numbers for a show right before the pandemic. And I believe one out of four people, men and women, one out, one out of four people literally think about taking their life. And we'll talk about it in the morning. We've endured, we've endured and are enduring some traumatic events. I mean, we watched a man get murdered on primetime television. We saw thousands of people march on our capital. We've endured a global pandemic. We have endured a president that was more I than we. And that whole, uh, we have a new administration now and two years in, you know. And so, <coughs> 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 
We've endured some traumatic things, and we'll talk about trauma on my show in the morning. That's drwalterSims.tv. But Blue Table Talk for Men is going to be in 45 minutes. So, bluetabletalk.com. Go subscribe, turn on that bell notification, but we'll be live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time in just 45 minutes, all right? Get your notebook. We may say something that's going to resonate with you. Just jot it down. You know, can we talk? Let's talk about it. Let's sit down and let's have a conversation. Hey, Nikki. Good evening again, everybody. Good evening again, everybody, to those that have just joined. I'm Dr. Sims, host of Blue Table Talk for Men. It's going to air at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Share this with your followers. Share this with at least some of the men in your life. I got several friends that say, Dr. Sam, I'm sharing it with every man that I know because this is an opportunity for men to sit down and hear other men talk about some things that they've gone through, okay? And to understand and to know you're not in this by yourself. No man is an island. I learned this poem, Renita, in the 10th grade. No man is an island. No man stands alone. Each, each man, we're each other's brother. We're our brother's keeper. And if I can do a little something just to help, just to help somebody, y'all know the song. If I can help somebody, if I can help somebody as I travel along, then my living shall not be in vain. Oh, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but let's sit down and talk it out. I had a great session with my client this morning. Oh, my goodness. And the talking through the process, talking through some of the hills and valleys, you talk about revelation. You talk about revelation. Oh, my goodness. And so a lot of people discount the conversation and just sit down listening and allowing somebody a safe space. One of my colleagues several years ago, and she's going to be on my show Saturday, one of my colleagues uh, and I, I know this is uh, four or five years ago. Um, she was going through some things. And what I said, I said, every Sunday between services, I have an hour. And, and, and I just offer that to you. And as she unpacked some things after one of our teleconferences, she said, Dr. Sims, thank you for giving me that safe place, that safe space. And I coach coaches as well. I coach coaches. Not only do I coach individuals, but I coach the coaches that coaches people. I coach the therapists. I coach the Wonder Women and the Supermen. Because they, one of the things that that, that challenge them is laying down their, their, their armor. Laying down their mantle. Taking their superhero outfits off. And laying it down and revealing their their vulnerabilities. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Renita. And so I coach them because I understand their hard spots. I'm the son of a pastor. And so I know what leaders go through. I've seen it firsthand. I've been a spiritual leader for 30 years. I've been a life coach for 12. I've been a professional speaker for 12 years. I've authored six books. And so I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. And I'm still learning, you know. And so we a lot of time discount personal development. I'm teaching a class in Dothan. Hey, blessed every day. Hey, Veronique. I'm teaching a class for what they call the, they call it the uh, SNAP program, Um it's a government assistance program for people that are transitioning. You can only be in this program for like five years. And so you have to take some, some, some life classes, some soft skill classes. And I'm teaching how to find a, a job, parenthetically, a career, how to manage fear, um, the law of attraction, uh, a simplistic view of the law of attraction. So those are the three classes I'm teaching. And I taught last week, everybody ought to have a personal development budget. We broke that thing down from, from getting your nails done. I get a mani-pedi once a month, uh, get a massage, 
uh, going to the library, we're going to Books a Million, Barnes and Noble. Um, um, do you have a life coach? Do you have therapy? All of that. Do you take vacations? Do you do you go to Panera Bread? Do you have a coffee budget? You know, whatever you do to spend on you, you ought to have a personal development budget. So that's saying, what does that even look like? Maybe 10% of your income. The numbers last week range from one of the instructors. She had spent like $6,000 last year because she's in school. Uh, one of the classmates said she spent $2,000 last year. There were three of my students spent $0 on personal development. One of the guys said, I'm too busy. I work all the time. I said, listen, you can afford an hour. And that's for their homework. You're going to do something for an hour for you. You're at the center of everything that you do. You're at the center of everything you do. Everybody point to yourself. If you are not good, nothing and nobody attached to you is going to be any good. If you crash and burn, what's at risk? If you do not work on yourself, you're you're doing some at risk. You're 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 displaying some at risk behavior. If you do not take care of Y.O.U., and you can put this in your notes. If you don't take care of Y.O.U., you're performing some at risk behavior. Hey, Becca. OK, and so you need to make sure you are taking care of you Y.O.U. Have you gone to therapy? Have you gone to counseling? Have you gone? Do you have a life coach? Now, one thing that Kevin Samuels advocates, and I, I, I'm not a Kevin Samuels apologist, but one thing he says I can agree with, I can subscribe to, he admonishes getting some type of counseling, therapy, or life coaching. I'm not, I'm not here to preach anything he talks about. I'm just pulling one little nugget he says that I can align with. He advocates personal development. You got to work on you. Before you are fit for anything or anybody, you need to work on you. Many of us don't do that. We spend billions of dollars on plastic surgery. We only spend millions of dollars on personal development. That's a big number over a little number. And what that, what that equates to is we got a Nordstrom outfit, but a Dollar General spirit. We work on the shell. The shell looks good, but the engine is corroded. The oil is sludged up. There you go. That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. And you need to spend some time under your hood. How many tonight? How many can admit they've had some personal development over the last year or two? Have you hired uh, a therapist? Have you hired a counselor? Have you hired a life coach? Can you admit? Can you say you've worked on you? So before you start throwing the baby out with the bathwater, let's take a time out and say, wait a minute. Okay, I need some personal development help. Okay, so let's go to the blue table talk for men dot com. Subscribe to the channel for me. Turn on that bell notification so you know when I go live. All right, so I got to go get ready for the show tonight. I'm the host. My special guest tonight is William Fanning. He's here on TikTok. Is V I L I A M something Fanning? <laughs> so. You can find him here on TikTok. But listen, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Share this with your followership. And I will see you in roughly 40 minutes. BlueTableTalkForMen.com. Subscribe to the channel for me because we need to get to 100 so I can give it its own custom URL. You're welcome. Appreciate y'all being here tonight. BlueTableTalkForMen.com. 8 o'clock p.m. PM Eastern Standard Time. Listen, either meet me there. Or beat me there. And remember, as I always say, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you.